Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am here to discuss one of my favorite topic that is discussing about the food technology opportunities in Germany. We have already done a video regarding what all food related courses available around the world, the most renowned one. But in this video, I will be discussing exclusively the food technology courses available in Germany both bachelors and masters like bachelors and masters only taught in english like only the programs which are taught in english and almost all of them are 100 percent uh, scholarship like without with zero tuition fees please be careful that uh, i will be uh, the universities i'm discussing here have different level different ways of application procedure different deadlines for each courses so this is just a just a list of courses which is available so if you are a person who are who is really uh, up there to scrutinize what exactly you should be doing in your masters let's do it together so i have selected only like core food technology courses not even agriculture biotechnology or uh, nutrition related i will be taking uh, a different video to upload uh, these uh, information like uh, the new agriculture courses, uh, biotechnology and nutrition related courses. I know that these courses are applicable for all the students who did uh, life sciences. If you did life sciences, these all uh, fall under you, but we can do it. We can just cut it into different videos and analyze it differently and end up doing the right masters for you. Yes, of course, I will be discussing about the food related courses. If the core is food, not biotechnology or uh, very very related to food uh, along with agriculture or biotechnology uh, and nutrition so i will be discussing that in this so uh, stay tuned and if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel please do subscribe and these upcoming videos related to agriculture nutrition and biotechnology uh, you can get updated about it first let me start with my favorite master's program that is ifbc international food business and consumer studies so if you uh, have seen our videos you might be knowing this it is offered by University of Kassel and Hochschule Fulda it's a joint master's degree program with a well balance between the food business and food technical like the product development quality management aspects of uh, the food industry so even though the uh, the higher or the priority is given to food modules uh, the business modules in this program uh, especially market research marketing consumer studies consumer science but we also have a focus into food product development innovative product development also quality food quality management so once you did this program it is pretty uh, good that you can end up doing uh, a, uh, doing a profession in any of the research uh, research and development supply chain management quality assurance or of course marketing and uh, sales and marketing food business development so these are some portfolio you will end up uh, doing after the completion of ifbc program i don't want to have uh, i don't want to take you till the end because i really want to discuss about this course which is the brand new masters program uh, for food technologists uh, coming to Germany that is offered by University of Hanover and uh, University of Hanover and DIL so DIL is German Institute for Food Technology so this is an university which have immense project on really innovative food technology ideas and really uh, sophisticated food tech ideas they really uh, they focus on that and there are a lot of thesis opportunities even seniors from my university go to DIL to do their uh, thesis so uh, this particular institute is uh, joining with University of Hanover to offer this master's program named as masters in process and product engineering so that it is really focused on the process and product engineering in the food industry so uh, the course actually started in 2022 and it's still prevailing and it just started and the there is no no tuition fees for this particular program and it's taught in 100% English so if you want to really um, uh, explore something about the process and product engineering and uh, I al already discussed about uh, University of Offenburg and uh, which one else um, oh. University of Hohenheim are giving uh, such related courses but this is also another option if you are a student uh, willing to uh, like really looking forward to do something in the engineering side the product and the process engineering do apply for all these three like 
you, you you never know which one will come so uh, this is another wonderful opportunity for you because it's really associated with DIL it's Germans Institute for Food Technology so that's really good to go another program I really found uh, interesting is the master's program in process engineering offered by Offenberg University of Applied Science so why I found it interesting is that they offer a different aspect into the process engineering they of course discuss about the chemical and biological process engineering bioanalytics even including biotechnology and food technology into their process engineering and they also re really discuss a lot of courses regarding renewable energy conversion the process behind that so if you are a person who is focusing into the engineering side or the process uh, process management side of food engineering you should uh, this is one of one of the best courses uh, you can actually do a masters in and another thing for renewable energy is that renewable energy is one of the most discussed and booming industries in germany so if you have a profile in this uh, particular thing it is gonna secure a job for you very easily and this particular course I have a tuition fees that is 1500 euros per uh, semester so that's nearly 1 lakh 20,000 rupees mm, nearly 1 lakh 1 lakh 20,000 rupees per semester you have to pay so next course we will be discussing about the courses offered by University of Ohenheim so Ohenheim is one of the prominent university they have a lot of uh, life science and natural science related courses to offer so let's discuss it one by one so one main course offered by university of ohenheim is the uh, masters in food biotechnology so this of this this is for students who have a strong background in both food and biotechnology or i think it's uh, mainly for students who have a biotechnology background because they have a lot to deal with the enzyme kinetics enzyme immo immobilization gene expression and uh, microbiological aspects so this is a good course for someone who is really interested into microbiology enzyme enzyme science and all the gene expression gene related studies so uh, this also comes with a fees of 1500 euros per semester another master's program is food science and engineering so it uh, it got a lot to do with food science like formulating the right products self stable and safe products so uh, formulating the recipes and engineering the process like uh, they even include uh, an, they have courses even including the sensor uh, in, like sensor technology which is streamlining the which is the future of streamlining the production process in food industry so they are really into engineering and technology along with the food science which is uh, giving the most important aspects of uh, formulas like uh, product development and the science behind it so if you are really into uh, food product development and uh, the process engineering uh, which is corely associated with food technology then this is uh, one of the best options for you last two courses i discussed is process engineering and uh, food science and engineering so these courses will help you end up in the process management field so there is something called process management product management and even research and development so these are some core uh, areas you can end up so if you really did something into engineering so you have uh, you, you have a vast uh, like a very wide uh, career opportunity in the process engineering side so uh, the uh, understanding the production process streamlining the process so that is something a product production engineer can do so this is something uh, uh, this this will be a portfolio you will be experiencing after completion of such courses and in case of biotechnology so uh, it will be mainly the um, biotechnology the course which is masters in food and biotechnology i think uh, reading the courses and the curriculum it is more focused into biotechnological aspect microbiological aspect so the quality assurance quality uh, quality and safety or the biotechnological uh, lab work these are something which will be you which you can be doing after the completion of the course University of Ohenheim of also offers this master's program named as Environmental Protection and Agricultural Foods, uh, Food Production. So this is something uh, really into environment, environmental aspects of 
uh, food production and agricultural production. So they talk a lot about sustainability. They talk a lot about the political, economical and social aspects of uh, food and agricultural production methods. So uh, this is a course which will uh, like offer a lot of opportunity in the environmental quality management in food companies, also into the agricultural consulting companies and research and development. So if you, uh, of course, sustainability is one of the most, uh, like just like renewable energy, uh, sustainability is very well respected and one of the most booming industries in the uh, in Germany. So uh, it's not a bad idea if you are really interested in the environmental protection, the politics and the economic side of environmental along with the food and agricultural management. So uh, th this is the environment uh, focusing on the environmental aspects of food production. So uh, like uh, like uh, sustainable uh, the. Uh, I am finding ideas to make the supply chain sustainable, not impacting so much on the environment. So it's all about the sustainable sustainability regarding the food production. This is uh, another course which should, should be discussed with the organic agriculture. But uh, the thing is, uh, it will also the entire course name is organic agriculture and food systems. So this is. Uh, the balance which is given to food or the importance which is given to the food systems in this course is pretty good like it's a uh, equal equal uh, equal equal uh, priority given so that's why i'm discussing about this particular course it's also again offered by university of ohenheim but it's not uh, with coming with any tuition fees so uh, some masters program in university of ohenheim have a fees of 1500 but some doesn't have so you can just go to their website and see what you liked and how much fees it is uh, it's around just one like uh, euro one like indian money so if you can afford that and if it's uh, uh, if uh, your uh, type of a uh, master's program or the skills you have is more more aligning with these master's program i don't think it's a bad idea to spend like one like euros i'm sorry one like rupees uh, into per semester to do this master's program so don't hesitate from uh, don't hesitate thinking that oh it's one lakh uh, rupees uh, per semester uh, but if it is worth please go take that uh, master's program so talking about the organic uh, organic agriculture and food systems this is again um, just like the environment protection and agricultural uh, agriculture food agriculture and food production this is also have a very good uh, like the content will be so much focused towards organic agriculture so the food production and the food systems they were talk they will be discussing in the center program will be mainly organic again organic agriculture is one of uh, it's it's also a very important sector in uh, germany like organic products are really really in demand in germany so that might be the reason such courses are given very much importance in germany right now and coming to one of my another favorite university for a uh, life science program is University of Beirut. They offer two main master's program that is first is food quality and safety master's in food quality and safety as the name suggests it is mainly into food quality and uh, food safety and of course you will be end up doing uh, something related to food uh, quality assurance quality control even the microbiology aspects of the food and they of but their courses are really good they included data analysis business communication and um, it's it's not really focusing on the scientific side but but also the management side of the food industry so this is uh, another very good option uh, and a, another master's program offered by university of beirut is uh, global uh, health and nutrition so um, this is also something any food technology or nutrition background students can apply you just taught in english and 100 uh, percent with zero tuition fees so uh, someone who is really uh, for really interested towards the nutrition aspects of food this is one of the best option you can have i know so many students uh, who did who did have a nutrition background but couldn't find so many nutrition related subjects in germany uh, i think this came last year like 2021 or 2022 this also came in 2022 and uh, so just uh, bridging up uh, a little bit uh, this is something a nutrition student or a student which is uh, a food technology student with uh, an aspiration to nutrition and dietetics can really apply for
So I found this interesting course, which is known as Masters in Witty Culture and Enology, uh, offered by Gay uh, Giesenheim University. So Giesenheim University uh, in Witty Culture and Enology. What is it basically? It is basically really focused on the wine, wine, wine making, wine analysis. Uh, wine quality and management so if you are really interested into learning the wine technology this is one of the best options i will not say that because this is something offered by germany and spain and the courses offered in spain is only in spanish i know it's not so relevant for you but what if the one of my subscriber is a spanish speaker and really want to do something related to this so Keep this in mind by Giesenheim University, there is a master's called Viticulture and Enology. Then uh, University of Göttingen is offering this uh, particular program which is master's in animal breeding and plant breeding. So again it might be, uh, I don't know where it actually falls, it is it in the food technology or the agriculture aspect but this is uh, interesting for food technologists because they really focus on understanding new breeding techniques to have a sustainable food system. So the uh, how, if, uh, what efficient methods they can use to have a breeding uh, which will have more sustainable and highly efficient production methods. So they have breed research which happens for animal and plant breeding technologies. So if you are, this is quite different and if you, uh, if you really want to, if you are interested in livestock, uh, which is a part of food technology and animal breeding. So this is something you can really uh, go for. There comes uh, a very particular master's program which, uh, which is offered by University of Bonn. It is, in, it is Masters in Environmental Food and Agricultural Policy Analysis. So what exactly it is, it is like analyzing the policy and the effect of uh, in food, agriculture and environmental policy on the socio-economic, uh, uh, on the socio-economy, like the impacts of these policies, doing market analysis, market research, consumer studies to understand the effect of policies and coming up with new uh, like developing new policies for all these sectors like environment, food production and agriculture. So uh, if you are really interested into studying the legislations and policy making, so uh, like the management side, so this is something very interesting. Uh, but this course is offered by uh, Sweden, Belgium, Italy and Germany. So this is a Euro, it is kind of an European masters which is offered by four countries, uh, four semesters in each country. So Germany's uh, University of Bonn is one part of this. So uh, you can also consider this like an agriculture, environmental, food. Like food students are not just doing engineering and marketing all this, but they ha I know we have interest towards agriculture and environment. So if you have such interest, again, oriented with the policy making, or the policy and uh, analysis of the uh, existing policies and developing new policies for the animal production, food production and production, uh, agriculture production, this is something for you. I'm just discussing a lot of courses, even I didn't imagine the, the, these many courses because there were so many courses which came up the, recently and uh, it's so good to know you have, uh, like actually there were it's also good to have so many options and you select a very uh, like keenly what is your interest uh, so don't be exhausted we have a few uh, more masters program to discuss so another uh, we all know that uh, technical university of munich the uh, the one of the best university in germany also have some courses to offer like uh, like in my last video i told that there is this uh, food technology masters which is offered in technical university of munich but it is not actually in uh, english it is taught in german i'm really sorry for that information but there are some other courses actually you can consider or we food talk food technologists can consider that is consumer science uh, this is something related uh, like of course we are also into fmcg and uh, we have we can always learn consumer science and another is uh, sustainable development and management so if you are uh, if you are planning to deviate your food uh, food history towards a sustainable uh, management or sustainability this is something 
uh, you quali you can qualify for that is sustainable development and management and consumer science these are offered by technica technician university of munich so other than that there is the university of kiel where they offer uh, this english taught program of dairy science so if you are a student with a background in dairy technology and uh, you want to do a masters in germany this is uh, the best option because if you if you don't want to deviate from your dairy technology field this is uh, i i should say it is uh, it's the only option because uh, the only dairy technology program which is taught in english is this which is offered by university of kiel i discussed with you the uh, the european masters offered by university of bonn which is uh, environmental environmental protection and uh, food agriculture policy analysis but university of bonn uh, corley uh, offer this masters program which is uh, agriculture and food economics so this is also interesting we we always think what is food economics so food economics is to understand the uh, effect on uh, food and agricultural policies and uh, the protection in the economics also understanding the market and developing uh, policies and economic uh, ideologies for the right uh, co like consume with the right consumer research so it also includes market analysis consumer research marketing aspects also uh, with a very strong uh, strong um, adaptation to the economic side of uh, economic side of it so uh, this also includes so much about the agri business management so it's not just food it's also agriculture but food is also very much important in this course it is offered by university of bonn again 100% uh, zero tuition fees and 100% english we have some courses for you know bachelor studies in uh, food which is taught in english so before discussing that i i really i understand i didn't discuss a lot about what will be the job opportunities and where do you end up but it is so understandable from the name some courses are really understandable from the name of the course itself what exactly it is looking forward to and uh, the uh, the job opportunities but where you can really find this you you always should find an answer for this question what can be the job opportunities through the the website the university website itself they really discuss about all the subjects you are going to study you can really have an understanding before coming to germany like what subjects you will learn so from the understanding what subject you will learn it's pretty clear that what you can uh, take out from that as a profession so if you if you learn food quality management you have already you, you can definitely go into food quality assurance or quality assurance and if you learn about uh, the biotechnological aspect of food and the microbiology you can end up something uh, doing something like that so uh, but you you should always go through the alumni list what they are doing and you should always uh, go through dad website about this particular course they gave a brief description about the course along with what all career opportunity this course can offer so uh, reading through the websites will give you a definite answer for what can be your career opportunities after completing this course only three bachelor's program available related to agriculture and food nutrition which is available in germany and which is taught in english is uh, the two bachelor program offered by rainwall university one is in bachelor's in agri business other is in a bachelor's in sustainable agriculture this is this both are offered by uh, university of um, rainwall rainwall university so then uh, the other masters program is it is offered by giesenheim university you remember we discussing about the wine uh, masters in wine so they have a bachelor's the in, in in international wine business so this is also something interesting so it is international wine business which is offered by giesenheim university so if you are planning for coming to germany with a bachelor's in english which is taught in english and in food technology these are the only three options i could find but there can be more let me know in the comments if you have figured out more options for that so it's that's about today's or that's about this video uh, because uh, i have i have discussed almost all the options 
which is available in Germany for the food technologists. There are certain po uh, cer certain masters like EIT food program, which is a uh, European um, innovation technology or something like that. With, uh, but this particular master's program is not corely offered by Germany. But it, it, Germany is just a part of uh, University of uh, Ohenheim offers a part of this program, but it is again an European master's which you go around Europe and study and Germany is just one semester for you in that case that's why I didn't discuss more about it but we did a video about this our uh, friend um, Ashwin is discussing about his experience with EIT food then there is another uh, program which is offered by University of Anhalt I am aware of these courses which is sustainable food business and uh, a very big European food masters I should say it's a, it's known as European food masters in sustainability food business and something more uh, but this program is also uh, offered by Germany just a part of it like it's just one semester in University of Anhalt University of G Anhalt is not the parent university but uh, the KU live in in, jo uh, in Belgium is the parent university that's why I didn't discuss about it we have done a video about this as well you can find it in our videos uh, about uh, this European masters which is offered by KU live in so that's all about the opportunities of Europe, uh, your food technologist in Germany. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you get, really get so many instincts to select your right masters. Be very careful and always ask the questions. Why I really want to do that? Will I uh, be enjoying this masters? This is what I really want to end up doing. So I hope I helped you guys. And if you have any queries to select your right masters, please connect to us, subscribe to our channel and all the best.